Hello friends, in this video we will understand what is the difference between a proxy server and a reverse proxy server. I am sure you must have worked with proxies a lot but this video is to simplify these concepts yet again in a very very easy to understand example. So let's get started. So in, in our childhood, whenever we wanted anything in our life, we always went to our parents and asked for it. And then it was up to the parents to decide whether that was a legitimate request or a demand to be fulfilled or not. So suppose you wanted a toy or an ice cream, you always thought that your parents are the ones who would fulfill those requests. And actually that was true because your parents went outside and they got the stuff which you always asked for. They never let the outside world come in contact with you because you were too small. And that is how our parents shielded us from the rest of the world till the time we, we were matured enough to handle it ourselves. So just correlate this easy, easy example with a proxy server. So what is a proxy? Proxy is an act which someone else does on your behalf. If you take an example of uh, United Kingdom, there is a concept called as proxy voting. So suppose if you're not able to vote, go and vote yourself, then someone else can vote on your behalf. Then that is called as a proxy vote. Even in our colleges, many students used to uh, do proxy attendance, which is not correct. And I'm not endorsing it by any means, but that was one of the ways where you can put a false attendance even if the actual student was maybe chilling at home. So all these are different examples to explain you how a proxy works. Proxy is an interface between you and the outside world. So just replicate this into a system and then we'll now exactly understand how it works. Proxy, once we understand how it works, it would be very easy for us to understand reverse proxy and exactly understand what is the difference between a proxy and a reverse proxy. So in this diagram, you can clearly see that proxies, proxy server works for the safety of the client, for the security of the client. So whenever you are making any request from your client machine to uh, hit a server, which is present outside the network. So this is your internal network. So this is intranet and this is internet. So suppose you are in a closed network and you want to access something which is outside your network. So proxy is the interface through which you send that request and then it goes to the internet and gets the data for you, gets the request fulfilled for you. It helps us in various uh, ways and we'll understand how. First of all, proxy acts as a shield. It acts as a filter between us and the network and it filters out all the bad stuff which could impact us sitting inside the network so proxy acts as a filter acts as a firewall so first it acts as a firewall the second advantage is that multiple clients can talk to the same proxy and it helps the proxy server manage all the requests at one place and then pass it on to the outside world and that as an organization gives you a better management of all your client machines which are talking to the network and asking the data from outside. So it is used for better management. Third point. Third point is, as I said, it protects you from cyber attacks, from viruses, malware, which is pretty much what a firewall does. So it saves you from any phishing attack any, any malware which could harm your data, which can harm your system. So security is the most important feature of a proxy. Fourth point, performance. How? Because proxy also helps for caching. So what is caching? Suppose you are accessing a web page over the internet and that page is a static page which multiple clients are requesting at the same time. So once that particular request has been fetched from the server here in the proxy you can store that static page static content so the next time any other client machine ask for the same content rather than going to the back to the internet 
proxy server can fulfill that request directly from its own premises. So you, you don't have to go and hit the uh, internet again. So it saves you the bandwidth and it, it gives you a very good performance. Fifth point which is very important is encryption and decryption. So whenever you send any request through a proxy in order to provide you additional security in, it can encrypt your request, it can hide the IP address of your machine, it can hide the sensitive data and it, it only sends it you know in a way where you cannot be discovered within the network. So suppose you send anything with your IP address to this particular proxy then proxy will send that request further by encrypting your IP address or hiding your masking your IP address to this particular server. So this server does not know from where exactly that particular request came from. So now as we have understood what is a proxy server, let's quickly understand what is a reverse proxy. The concept is pretty, pretty similar guys. Uh, nothing, nothing uh, different from what a proxy does. It's just that it does it instead of doing it from the client side, it does it from the server side. So let's understand how. So as you can see, a reverse proxy server does exactly the opposite of what a proxy server does. Instead of protecting the client, it rather protects the server. So this reverse proxy server comes handy whenever there is any request coming from the internet which wants to access any of your servers within the network. So instead of exposing your servers, so all these are your servers. So it can be server 1, server 2, server 3, you rather put a reverse proxy in front of it and then wherever any request comes to access any of your uh, websites or any of your servers, it has to go via reverse proxy and then reverse proxy decides how to filter that request and send it forward. Now what other benefits we have of using a uh, reverse proxy server, pretty much similar to what we have for a proxy server but this time round we also have an additional benefit which is called as load balancing. So suppose you are trying to access amazon.com. So when you are hitting amazon.com website, the reverse proxy can load balance these requests because there will be multiple uh, requests coming from several clients from the internet. So the reverse proxy helps balance the load and it act, works as a load balancer between the request and uh, how it has to be load balanced among the servers. Second benefit, again similar to what proxy server does, is caching. So whenever there is multiple requests of a similar page, then that caching happens uh, in the reverse proxy and then the reverse pro proxy uh, serves that content back to the client machine. Third advantage of using a reverse proxy server is again, as I said, security because all your servers IP addresses and everything is masked. The, this particular environment does not have a clue which particular server is being hit or being asked for. Another very important point of uh, uh, using a reverse proxy is that it helps you compress the request size which helps you to increase the overall bandwidth and performance. So suppose if there is a request which is coming via reverse proxy and then there is a response coming from the server, this particular reverse proxy help in zipping this particular request into a smaller size and then it fulfills it back to the client machine. So it reduces the amount of data packet, the size of the data packets which are crossing through the uh, network to and fro and it helps in, com uh, in compression. So as you can see proxy server and the reverse proxy server works pretty much the same way. A very common question which people also ask is that what is the difference between a reverse proxy server and a load balancer because it can be very confusing. So understand this guys that a reverse proxy server can be a load balancer as well. But load balancer has a very definite purpose of balancing the load when there are too much too heavy requests coming in then the load balancer has to ensure that it balances the load across all the nodes in the cluster. Whereas a reverse proxy server can still work with a single server in place. It, it does not necessarily need to have multiple servers because your reverse proxy will still do the security part will still do the caching part for that particular server. So a reverse proxy server 
can act as a load balancer so the, in this way you can understand that a load balancing mechanism can be a subset of a reverse proxy server so friends i hope you now understand what is a proxy server what is a reverse proxy server why it is used for and how it is different from each other thank you so much for watching this video till the end i really hope you like this video please go and subscribe to my channel itk funday and please hit the bell icon do suggest any good content which i might bring in future thank you so much for watching and keep hustling thank you